Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 263. That is, do we write test cases for smoke testing? Let me answer. First of all, what exactly is this smoke testing? So in smoke testing, once we receive the build from the developers for testing purpose, as software testers, we first focus on testing the major, important, and critical functionalities of the software, okay? Only the major, important, critical, showstopper functionalities of the software only will perform testing, and that too at a high level. We'll not test all the test cases of major, important, critical functionalities. We'll test the high-level test cases, only few high-level important test cases, positive test cases of this major, important, critical functionalities of the software will perform in less time, okay? Will not take too much of time, 15 to 30 minutes max, based on the size and complexity of the application, okay? That's what is smoke testing, right? So if any of this major important critical functionalities, okay? If any of the test cases in this uh, high-level test case of this major important critical functionalities of the software are failing, okay? Then there is no point in going to the detailed testing, okay? because the application is not working at a major important critical level. For example, if uh, there, is a, there is a defect in the login, you are unable to log in, what's the point of testing the application, right? Such kind of defects you'll find with the help of smoke testing. And uh, if there are no defects found in this major important critical functionalities when tested at a high level and positive level in less time, if no defects are found, we'll accept the build from the developers, okay? Whatever the developers have provided the build for testing, that build we'll accept and proceed further in detail testing, in depth testing, okay? But what if there are some defects in this major important critical functionalities, as I mentioned one example, like uh, you're unable to log in or something. In that case, we report that particular defect, okay? And we'll provide, okay, the details of the defect in the email to the development team, okay? Saying, hi development team, Okay, we have first performed smoke testing to see whether the major important critical functionalities of the software are working at a high level or not. And we come across one of the defect in one of the major functionality of the software because of which the smoke testing has failed. Hence, we are rejecting the build and we'll be waiting for the next build, which may and hoping for the next build to pass. Like that, we'll put an email to them and reject the build. Okay, that's what is smoke testing all about, right? That's why we do that. But the question here is, do we have to write test cases for smoke testing? Especially you don't have to write any test cases for smoke testing, guys. okay? Especially for smoke testing, you don't have to write test cases. Maybe we may pick the test cases from the complete list of collection of test cases document that we already created, okay? We may choose the test cases from the existing test case document for the entire application, but we may we will not specially or specifically write test cases only for smoke testing. We don't write the test cases, okay? In any of the project, we generally perform smoke testing like on a, at a fly, but if required, we can also choose the test cases, but we don't have to write them separately for smoke testing, okay? We, we pick the test cases from the existing complete list of test cases document, or we, uh, we uh, using our brain or something, we'll test at a high level, okay? That's what is the answer. So hope guys, you, are, you got the answer for the question. Do we write the test case for smoke testing? Especially we don't write. We pick them from the existing test cases or we test them at the fly, on the fly, okay? So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.